All right. Yeah. 2023 NFL Draft has begun, baby. Let's go, Cowboys. Falcons are up on the board. Will it be Bijan? Let's see. Bijan Robinson off the board to the Falcons. Let's see what happens next. The Eagles are up. Let's see if they go with the defensive tackle. Mm. There it is. They got Jalen Carter from Georgia. Big, big That's name a there. Big pickup. Very them. big pick. This was he picked up earlier in this draft. The Eagles got a good pick. Chicago Bears up. Wow, mm. Darnell Wright, the first two guys who's gonna be gone by like eleven or twelve. Well, tenth. Bears got Darnell Wright. Yeah, tenth pick, man. All right, offensive lineman. All right, lines are up. Let's see what they grab. Jameer Gibbs. Wow. wow, real early. Another running back gone. Gone. Both running backs, Bijan <laughs> and Jameer Gibbs, both gone by twelve. Jets are up. Fifteen. Damn, Will McDonald taking already? That's one of our guys yeah. that we had talked about. That he went, I think, a little extra early, but it takes the right. takes him off the ball for the Cowboys <laughs> to not grab. And right now we're looking at like tight end, Michael Mayer, Dalton yeah, Kincaid. More offense for this How first about, round so uh, far? Laporta, right? There's another guy mm -hmm. that we're hearing about. So we'll see yeah. what happens. Washington is up. And with the 16th pick, they get Emmanuel Forbes, mm. cornerback. Now, Cowboys have a lot of had a lot of interest in him too, 30 day guy, but under like, like underweight, like very skinny. So it's going to take maybe a little bit of time to develop. We'll see what happens. Ravens are up, and they drafted wide receiver Zay Flowers off Man. the board, another Cowboy target. Getting closer, baby. Getting yes, closer. Yes, it is. So Jacksonville traded away their pick to the Giants. The Giants are picking. Deontay Banks, cornerback, off the board. It keeps a lot of uh, available players for our Cowboys Why here. Why did they even bother to trade up for that? They traded <laughs> Jacksonville, jumped a spot, and gave up 170th pick and a 240th pick. The key here is, though, if you're following this thing with us, reaction-wise, yeah. there's still, like, two first-round graded guys available, Nolan Smith, Edge, and Joey Porter Jr., corner. And no matter what, one of those guys will be there when we pick. We'll, what will the Cowboys do? Get the tight end? The best tight end in the draft that they think it is? Or will they go one of those guys, those top uh, talent guys? Or trade back? We'll Cowboys, they, they already declined two trade backs. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So crazy what's going on as we're watching this. Jacksonville traded to the Bills. Bills jumped the Cowboys because they want the number one tight end, I'm, I'm hearing. And the Bills are picking... And Dalton Kincaid, which they knew the Cowboys wanted. And if you saw our mock draft that we did, that I did actually, right before, we, we did it together, yes. but as basically led by me this morning. And I said Kincaid's the guy the Cowboys want, and the Bills knew it. So And the Cowboys now, would have gotten him, I yeah. think, had he yeah. been there. But now you got Joey Porter Jr., you got Nolan Smith, and you got... The Cowboys on the clock. <laughs> and, and Michael Mayer, of course, tight ends, Laporta. We'll see what they do. Do they trade back? Stephen Jones on the phone. Let's see what they do. I'm ready. I'm excited. All right, guys. It's time. I'm, we've got two and a half minutes here for the Cowboys pick. 245, actually. We're getting there. Going to make this pick here soon or trade it. Yeah, one of the more interesting parts is that apparently Kansas City and the Raiders both yeah. called Dallas for trade up offers. And yeah. the Cowboys said thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, and the Cowboys, again, would, would have traded back to 31. Or 38, respectively. But 31 with the Chiefs would have kept them in the first round. Probably the offers weren't that great. at the you know, And at the time, the Cowboys said no. Same thing with the Raiders. They wanted to go back, like you said, to 38 in the second round. That would have been at least a second round pick, I would say, a third round pick. And maybe they were offering less, the Raiders. I don't know. So now we know that the, the Cowboys are back on the phone. Stephen Jones. Yeah, it seems like a... a our first round pick became a little bit more complex than we yeah. expected because we're taking every second on this yep. clock to do something, right? Now, we, we know Steven was on the phone. Yeah, the good thing about having Nolan Smith and Joey Porter. Now, Nolan Smith we never brought in. We, I'm sure everybody has interest in him. I don't think the Cowboys anticipated him being here. Same thing for Joey Porter Jr., although we did bring him in and took a look at him. So we like both these guys. You know, we saw Dan Quinn in the, in the yeah. Cowboys war room. The key here is, will the Cowboys take this first round graded talent or will we... Use that that temptation to either say we're going to take them or maybe go and maybe you know hang these guys around and say hey maybe you guys somebody want to want to trade for these guys. This is where maybe the Cowboys are on the phone still. It's a minute and twenty seconds. The well, Cowboys have not made their the pick. Play is speaking right yep. now. They got they're uh, talking to like teams. Looks like McCarthy's also speaking. 
Yeah, so right now, it's it looks like the Cowboys are trying to find a trade. Now, if they don't trade, they either take Nolan Smith, they take Joey Porter Jr., and now that Dalton Kincaid is off the board to the Bills, jumping us, I mean, I'm not, I, I think he's one of the best, like, pure receivers, but mm-hmm. I like Michael Mayer as an overall guy right now. The Cowboys wanted to go tight end now. There might be a run on tight ends. There was run of receivers uh, a All couple, right. the a couple pick picks has been ago. Made. So it we, looks like we, we're clapping. Yep. It's a pick. The play. It doesn't look like it's a trade. It looks like yeah. it's a pick. So Nolan Smith, Joey Porter Jr., or Michael Mayer. That's my guess. Or the Cowboys, will they go in? Again, anything that you reach now with Steve Avila or anything well, like that, you could have gotten at 31 or at 38, the possibly. The pick is in. I'm leaning offense just because right now, again, I'm not I don't seeing see Quinn. Quinn in the room. Well, and McCarthy. it looks like, again, it looks like the final discussion happened between McClay and McCarthy specifically. So, you know, not who's in a bad the, way. Just that last be, little back and forth. Who's going to be repping? I don't know, but McClay's calling him right now. That navy blue, silver too. And that star of everything. Woo, you know the history. Go. We got five on it. Need that six and beyond. Come on, Cowboy Nation, Woo. Cowboy family. All right, so baby, final cowboy guess. Cowboy fan base. Final guess. Who do you think it is? Listen, I think that Nolan Smith would be the guy I would go for just out of first thought because I think he'd be a dominating guy you can then maybe trade Dorrance Armstrong seven million dollars is a good deal for a, a Dorrance Armstrong so you can still have something for him out there of course there's always that cutting you can cut Dorrance Armstrong and get most of that yeah. money back but Joey Porter Jr. I loved him since since the beginning of the year since last year I was saying that might be the guys if he falls to the Cowboys I never thought he'd fall to him so now he's there from Ohio State cornerback. We got got Gilmore yep. for one year. So would that be somebody we can get moving there and just well, really you're add? Speaking to him now. Remember, Quinn <laughs> said one thing. He want, he said this earlier tonight. Yeah. He wanted to get another cornerback in there. That's right. So I think either I think Joey Pointer maybe is the pick if you look at Quinn. But I think if you want to match up the guy you want for the long term, it can be Nolan Smith. Either way, we got two great first round graded prospects, and then. The number, the number two uh, tight end, which I believe is the number one current tight end right now, going into the into this draft, ready to play day one is Michael Mayer. Which so. I, I still that's that's going to be my so, yeah. dark horse vote, not necessarily because I want him all that much, but because I still think well, the Cowboys really want a the, tight end. If the Cowboys want a tight end, they should have maybe, unless there's that run of of of, re- of like tight ends like we have with receivers. Do we trade? Do we should we have traded back at thirty one to get? You know, a tight end that we wanted, right? So that's the question that's always going to be know. here. If that's a, if it picks a tight end, but I don't really mind Michael Mayer. And again, there's Avila as, a, as an option as well if they want to yes. reach a little bit. Then you could have traded back to 31, got an extra fourth or third rounder, and still got Steve Avila or any of these other guys. Let's see. Pick is in. Who's wearing that star? We'll see in about 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Baby, let's do this, baby. Let's go. Mozzie Smith. Okay. Out of left field. I have to admit, that was this not the sh- pick I was what? expecting. <laughs> that is mind-blowing. We love Mozzie. The Cowboys are playing yeah. games, hiding Mozzie from everyone. We're going to take him yeah, this we high. We must have really liked something Ooh. about him. Mozzie Smith is now our going to be right. If you wanted him starting, he's going to be up there with Jonathan yeah. Hankins. We got our new interior run stopping. Hey, we, we, we should have taken some of those comments a little bit more seriously from our front office. Yeah, they said they want to change, Jones, right? Who said that he, you know, something about those big boys in the middle just really excited him. 6'3", 323, very agile, very quick. Look at the explosive burst he has. It's good, good get off. He has good burst. He has good. Again, that wasn't really much. I guess there that blocking. Dan Quinn consultation from a little earlier yeah. came in handy. Again, a lot of people were thinking number fifty eight would go at fifty eight to the Cowboys possibly. Here he's against the. Uh, you know, is this TC? You know, okay. But here you see him as you know in one tech, zero tech, nose tackle, run stop is number one. But we talked about the fact that he has that that future ability, that possible pass rush yes. ability, three down, nose tackle. So again, it's a great pick. As far as the player, like as far as the actual player, I love this guy. We talked about Mozzie Smith a lot. He's he's got quickness, he's got agility, he's one of the you know I think he's fantastic on the RAS. So he's agile, he's big, he's a pure, he's a run stopper that it, it can evolve into a pass rusher. We're gonna go into this a lot more later tonight on our live stream. Look, Woo! I, All right, I'm, I'm how do really you feel about this? Because this means that the Cowboys straight up they let Dan Quinn have that pick. It also means mm. that it came down to two things. If it would, 
Kincaid would have been the guy yeah, had he been I think there. So. Yeah. But it obviously sounds like Mozzie was already maybe possibly locked in for the Cowboys if they rejected some of those trade right. offers because around the timing of that call is when Dan Quinn was in that room. So gotta, I'm just saying, like they obviously came to some conclusion. And you here. gotta figure that Mozzie Smith was gonna be taken somewhere in this first round. The Cowboys must have known the Chiefs and others wanted to get Mozzie or you know a, a Kincaid, right? It could have been that as well. Yeah. We don't know. So either way. Whether it was a reach or not, would you have traded back to get Mozzie Smith at 31? We can, we're going to argue this later tonight. We can, exactly. Comment down below, post down below. Let us know what you think about this pick. Mozzie Smith, a Dallas Cowboy. Well, welcome to the Cowboys. Welcome to the Cowboys. <laughs> and yes, on the nightly, basically, here at MCF, my Cowboys family. Make sure you check out our, our videos. Hit that like for this video. Hit subscribe if you're new and you want to keep growing the channel, growing the family here at MCF. Mm -hmm. And of course... Hit your notification bell so you have it on for all videos because we do this thing almost nightly. Yeah, we getting... never miss one of our live streams. Exactly, guys. That's what's happening later on tonight. So go and check it out. We talk about this and this entire draft situation. And tomorrow, upcoming, right, round rounds two and three, day two of the draft, will be live two times tomorrow. We'll talk about that later. And appreciate everybody here once again watching this. Let us know what you think about Mozzie Smith, the brand new Dallas Cowboy here, picked at number 26 in the 2023 NFL draft. Baby, never forget that navy blue, silver too, and this star over everything, guys. Never forget the number one thing here on this channel. As always, go Cowboys! Cowboys.